guys, so I just finished filming an updated foundation routine with our new Bare Minerals Original Liquid Foundation, which you guys is amazing. If you all remember a little bit back, I had a sample of the medium beige, which was too dark for me, but I did you guys a quick demo, and I knew in that moment I was going to love this foundation, but it arrived this week. My perfect color ended up being fairly light, and I'm just obsessed with how it applies. On our website, I did a full blog post about all the things that makes this foundation extra amazing, so I will be linking that if you're interested to check it out. But a few quick highlights, this foundation has extracts to help with hydration. It's made with minimal ingredients to prevent clogging pores and actually has extracts that will help reduce redness over time. So as somebody who battles a lot of redness, that's something I have really been looking forward to. It also gives ultra full coverage but is weightless. It's 24 hour wear and it's crease resistant. So anybody like me with the last lines right here. I'm finding that this doesn't settle and it sits more on top of the skin than going into the skin so it gives you that like almost unreal level of flawless finish. So if you're interested to see how I applied this foundation plus get my quick like five minute routine. I'm headed to work with some clients this morning and didn't have a lot of time. Face in five-ish minutes. So if you're interested to see how I got it, just keep on watching guys. It's Haley from Spa Siobhan and welcome to our YouTube channel. I love to bring you guys best in beauty retail and luxury spa services. Let's go ahead and jump into this next video. To get us started, I'm going to be taking my perfect shade, which is the shade Fairly Light 03 and the Bare Minerals Perfecting Face Brush. This packaging is amazing, you guys. No more spills with travel. It twists, so it pops up, it pops down. No more spills or leaks, which I'm super excited about. This one is like that Bare Pro Liquid Foundation, so just one pump will do the entire face. I'm going to take that pump and I'm gonna put it into the center of this brush. This brush is really nice because it has that hole in the center. So directly in there, then I make a few stripes on each cheek, forehead, nose, and chin, and then we're gonna start to go back in and work it into the skin. I also like to do a little right around the eyes. This will help when we go in with any other shades or if it's a day that I'm wearing minimal makeup. I also like it because it kind of works as a concealer on the eyes. This foundation blends like a dream in comparison to the Bare Pro. I think this one is a lot easier to blend into the skin. Now taking the Bare Minerals Original Loose Powder in the shade Golden Fair, I'm going to be pairing that with the Supreme Finisher Brush. Both my Supreme Finisher and my Perfecting Face Brush are a limited edition gold collection, but you can still shop these brushes at Spa Siobhan in the black packaging. And I just like, um, they have their Mineral Veil, which is the setting powder that you can use if you have a tendency to get oily throughout the day, and that's just a translucent powder. But I find where my skin's so dry and I have so much redness on the cheeks that I like to set with the original powder to give one a little extra coverage, but it also helps to keep me a little more hydrated than drying myself out with the Mineral Veil as it's intended to soak up oil. So if you are somebody who gets oily throughout the day, you could add a mineral veil here, or if you're dry like me and want more coverage, you may find that you like a powder foundation on. Now taking the dual finish blush and contour brush and the warmth pressed bronzer, I'm just gonna do what I like to call my lazy girl contour, and I'm gonna be going in with that bronzer starting on the cheekbone where I want most of the product and I'm either going to make my E or my 3 depending on the side of the face that I'm working on and the reason I start on the cheekbone is because that's where we want the majority of our product to land. Then I also like to take it down the sides of the nose 
and right at the tip to just give a little definition to the nose area. I'm taking the Bare Minerals Blooming Blush Brush and my new favorite blush shade from Buxom that we got this week in the shade Dolly. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to the cheekbones right above where we place that bronzer. And these new blushes are so insanely pigmented, you guys. It's insane. And it's primer infused, so it helps with the lasting power. And they're supposed to adapt, like, just depending on your skin color. So I know, like, my mom who has pretty decent color and then me who is like ultra fair are both able to wear the same shade and it's gorgeous and goes on a little different for each of us. Taking the Buxom Cosmetics Divine Goddess Highlighter Palette. I'm going to be using that lightest shade called Venus. There are three shades included so depending on what your skin tone is you could use whatever matches you best. I'm still in the lightest, but as we start to sunless tan, I'm going to work my way to that center shade. And then I also just recently did you guys a tutorial. I don't know if you'll be seeing this one first or that one first, but be on the lookout where I use that darkest shade as eyeshadow. So I'm just blending that onto the chops of the cheekbones, the center of the nose, Cupid's bow of the lip, and you saw me place a little above the arch of each brow. And taking my Buxom Boss Babe Betty palette, I'm going in with the gorgeous gold shade called All Access, and I've been highlighting with these two combos for months now, and I do that lightest shade out of the Buxom palette, top it with All Access, and it just gives this gorgeous ultra glowy and like multi multi-dimensional highlight. It's kind of like the same concept behind the Huda Beauty highlighter palette where you do the cream and then the powder on top. And I have just found that on my fair skin that this Buxom palette makes the ultra highlight in the perfect. Now shape. taking the new Buxom Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Hush Hush. And I'm just going to first line the lips and then fill all the way in with this shade. I always love, you guys see me time and time again, lining the full lip and filling all the way in. Because regardless of what kind of shade you put on top, that just makes sure that you have that lasting power throughout the day. Then as I eat, drink, whatever, it, I still have the stain underneath from that lip liner color. Now I'm going to be taking the Buxom Plumping Lip Balm in the shade Inner Glow, another one of our new colors. And I'm just going to be applying that right on top of that lip liner. These are plumping, they're tinted, and they have like a peppermint smell and taste. So I have really enjoyed these. This one is a nice nude with the perfect amount of pink. Now I'm just going to be applying my new Buxom Mascara, giving the lashes a good curl. I did a demo on the huge Buxom haul video on how I've been applying this mascara with the extrovert on top. So if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and check it out. Or you can check out when I was combining my Lashtopia with the Bare Minerals serum mascara. I feel like the payout of the Buxom is just maybe a little bit more length, but feel free to check out both and see which one works. So I'm back. Mascara is applied and while I was off camera, I went ahead and filled in my brows. I just recently did you guys my updated brow routine and I haven't switched anything up yet. So I'll link that right here if you want to check it out. Last step is I'm going to do a quick spritz with the Dermalogica Antioxidant Hydra Mist, which is our anti-aging toner that helps to flash firm. It's also ultra hydrating, so you guys will always see me using that as my makeup setting spray. So I'm just going to give myself a quick spritz and soak in all the hydration that I can. Okay you guys, so that will complete this tutorial on a quick overview of the new 
Bare Minerals Original Liquid Foundation. I am in love with the formula and also a quick get ready with me on how I get a five minute fresh face. So I hope you guys enjoyed. All of the products will be linked down below along with that blog post I mentioned so you can check it out. And if you enjoyed, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and I will be seeing you all very soon. Bye.